Hello YouTube, Sidekick here in my trusty CF-104G Starfighter taxiing out to the runway to take off on a little, uh, I guess you'd call it a practice mission but with a semi-realistic scenario. I'm going to be using some rockets today in a pop-up attack to take out a towed artillery battery. Um, we'll go through the mission plan in a sec after we get ourselves taken off here. Uh, this mission will be available on my Discord channel if you want to give it a try. Uh, it has the ground start, which is the one that I'm using here, but it also has an air start because, the, uh, in this case, the, uh, the air base is a little ways from the target. You may not want to fly all the way there. And we're getting down the runway in our rocket sled. Still having a little bit of excitement trying to keep down the center of the runway with the Starfighter, as you can tell. But we're managing to get off the ground without too much trouble here. Well, we're off the ground safely anyways. Okay, just a sec here. I'm going to get myself stabilized and in the climb out. And in a sec, we're going to have uh, an item up here that's going to allow us to choose the mission difficulty, and I'll explain a little bit more about what that means once we've done it. I'm going to select medium difficulty. Get myself stabilized here so I can look at the F10 menu, and we'll pick the F10 menu, and we'll pick medium difficulty. All right, with that in hand, we can take a look at the mission plan. So what we're envisioning today is a situation uh, scenario from the 1970s where the proverbial balloon has gone up and Warsaw Pact forces are coming over the hill to attack a NATO screening force. We are envisioning ourselves as being a quick reaction strike element that was on the ground ready to launch. We've received word that there is a towed artillery battery that is shelling our forward troops and so our task is to take it out. So let's take a look at the map uh, from the planner. This is all in the mission file. So we're going to come in from the west here. We're going to hang a right over the Tarek River. We're going to go down along this creek at treetop level. We're going to turn left at the end of that tree line there. And we're going to uh, ingress down the valley pop up at this point, pick up the smoke mark that marks the artillery uh, position, and then we're going to attack it with our 2.75 inch rockets. Uh, we're going to have to stay low uh, once we are on the other side of the forward line of own troops. There is AAA threat anywhere in that area, so we'll have to be careful about that. In the medium difficulty, the AAA is mainly um, um, unguided 23 uh, millimeter uh, AAA. If you select the hard uh, difficulty, then you will end up with some um, some Shilkas, the radar guided 23 millimeters. They'll be around the target area, but they will also be scattered throughout the zone um, behind the flot there. So you will need to be careful throughout the entire mission when you're on the other side of the flot. In easy difficulty, there isn't any AAA at all, so you can give that a shot if you want to uh, try this unmolested, so to speak. If you really want to try the Iron Man version, then you can try it without the smoke mark, which is maybe more realistic. Um, but at least uh, for me, pretty tough to pick up um, a towed artillery position without the smoke mark. So I left it in there even on hard difficulty. So that's the plan. Let's go see how we do. So, obviously, this mission is meant to be pretty much a training mission. It's not a simulation of a big Cold War battle or anything like that. Uh, as much as anything, it's an excuse to fly low and fast and execute a pop-up attack, which is always a rush. It's a little bit more realistic scenario, obviously, than a range practice. And you do get to set the difficulty, so you can decide how many people are going to be shooting at you. Uh, if you don't uh, fly low, uh, I can attest that the uh, AAA will find you, especially on the hard difficulty. So you are going to want to stay low and you are going to want to do a pop-up attack. Um, I can't claim that I have any insight into exactly how this was practiced by uh, real NATO pilots at the time, but this seemed like a reasonable approach to me and, uh, you know, it was a lot of fun. So, um, 
you can see in the bottom right of the HUD there um, uh, an indication of how far we are until our first waypoint, which is the waypoint that sets us up on the river for our descent down to the creek. We still got a ways to go. Um, and I think rather than just uh, going through the whole flight, um, I'm just going to wind forward until we're a little bit closer to the action here. Okay, so you can see we've come up to the Tarek River near Ma's Dock here. You can see uh, almost to the uh, initial waypoint, and you can see the line of the creek there coming up in the distance. That's actually our second waypoint, and that's the point at which we're going to turn right and descend down to the level of the creek, and then after that, things get exciting. So, final checks here to make sure that we're good. Not going to put it in air-to-ground mode until almost the last minute, because I want to see... Uh, I would like it in nav mode so I can see how far we are to the waypoints. We are going to want to continue to use those waypoint distances. So we expect the smoke mark to be on the ground once we have started our ingress, so it's still there when we get there, so can't see the target just yet. But the creek's coming up there in a hurry, so time to go down. We'll advance to the next waypoint. Point the nose at the creek, open the throttle a little. We're going to stay under afterburner, but we want to get up into that 500, 550 range. Staying nice and low. The, the, the trees on the left-hand side there are the creek bed, so we're just going to stay along that line. Stay nice and low. This line of trees across our front is the creek that uh, marks the forward line of own troops. So once we're across there, we are in enemy territory. So we're going to stay nice and low once we're across there, and there we go. That's the flot, I believe. So from here on in, yep, well, there's a little bit of enemy activity. Good thing we're staying low. Watch those wires coming up. Let's get over them, back down, follow the trees around. This next set of trees that we're coming to at the end of that is our initial point where we're going to turn left into the valley, and after that, it's just going to be time to be start looking for the pop -up trick here is to stay low on the turn. Don't want to get too high on the turn because there is some AAA in the valley. Stay nice and low. Roll out. Just going to stay to the right hand side of the valley so we have lots of room to pop up. Somewhere around there. Get lined up on the waypoint. Wait for the villages to start coming up. Stay nice and low should be looking up on the ridge. We should be able to see the smoke mark. Yes, I think it's up there. Stay nice and low. Wait for the... There's some trees, and that marks the edge of the village, and that's going to be about the point there it is. I can see it just off to the left, mid, mid of the left-hand side of the cockpit window there. Smoke mark on the horizon. Getting ready for the pop-up. It's coming. Stay nice and low. Stay nice and low. And when it's time to go, go. Give it some burner. Roll so we can keep the smoke mark in view. There it is. Roll over. Don't want to get too high. Don't want to get any higher than we need to. Roll onto the target. Pull the lift vector to the target. Roll the flight path vector out under the target. Pull the reticle up to it. We're looking for the guns. I think I see them. See if we can spray the rockets around the target here. A real precise way to fire the rockets. Well, that looks like we got some good results. Hit the burner, stay low. There's enemy all along the front here. We don't want to be wasting any time. And we don't want to be getting high until we're back over the forward line of own troops. So stay low over this forest. see the creek coming up there in the distance. Once we're over that, we can pop back up. We'll be safe. Stay low. Stay low. And I think this is friendly territory coming up right here. Alright. We are safe. Let's take it up. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that little uh, pop-up attack training mission. Uh, it's available on uh, my Discord server. I might put it on the ED user files as well. 
drop by and uh, download it. Give it a try. Let me know how you do. And for now, this is going to be Sidekick. Signing off.